Hi there, this is Dr. Richard Embody at Michigan State University. Uh, together with Bill Punch, we wrote a textbook, and this is one of a series of videos to go along with that. In this one, we're going to take a look at uh, starting out with the uh, Anaconda Python distribution and writing our first program. So let's get started with that. And we're going to begin by, uh, I'm working on a Mac, and to get this uh, started, you need to go to uh, Applications, and in Utilities, and grab a terminal. And in that terminal, blow it up here a little bit, so you can see it a little better, we just type spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R, and then we wait and we wait and we wait and it takes a while for this to start up. Okay, so here is the, uh, here's what we get in the, uh, uh, in the Mac world. Uh, if we were to do this in the Windows world, then we would uh, uh, start with all programs find uh, Anaconda and within that find Spider and you click on that and away you go. As near as I can tell it looks exactly the same. So uh, the, once you get started with that uh, you know it, ev everything is the same. Uh, so there's three parts to this window. Uh, one part is over on this side this is where we're going to write programs. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, up in this corner is where we select the, uh, the folder or the directory that we're going to be working in. Uh, down here, we have the uh, IPython console, and this is otherwise known as the shell. We'll refer to it as the shell. Uh, and in this corner, we have uh, what we can keep track of with our variables. And let's actually select that. We'll put the variable explorer. And so every variable that we create will, uh, will show up there. So there's, the, there's sort of the three parts to this. Let me show you what we can do. One of the neat things about Python is that you can always try things out in the uh, shell. So let me try something, one plus two, and when you enter, you see that uh, the input was one plus two, the output was three. I can say something like print, hello world. This is where the traditional place that uh, computer programmers start, and it will print hello world. Uh, and and the, the shell, one of the beauties of Python is that Whenever you have a question, somebody asks me a question, say in class, I say try it out in the shell. And, and you want to take it sort of an experimental outlook in terms of, of Python, try it out. And the shell is a wonderful place uh, to do that. Now, suppose I want to write a, uh, a program. Well, that is what this left-hand window is for. And we can say something like name equals input name, put that in quotes, and now I can say print, hello, that's in quotes, and then the name. Now, uh, there's, a, there's a few things here uh, to uh, uh, watch. One is that we can save the program. We're going to need to save it. Uh, and it gets saved as uh, temp.py unless I try to uh, uh, give it a name. Uh, so let's actually, uh, you know, let's let's I'll put it on my uh, desktop. I will give it a, a name of uh, hello. Now. That puts it on my desktop, but that's not where my, um, my, my main directory is. And so 
it would be a good idea to, to set that up. And that's what this uh, file is concerned with here, setting up the directory. So I will put the directory that I'm working in as the desktop. And if I were to now just do a save it now, it defaults to being on the uh, desktop. And I can call it hello. It says, uh, hey, you've already got one there. Yep. Uh, and I do want to replace it. So there's a uh, th there there's saving a program. Again, we want to set up the uh, uh, the directory here. In this case, I put it on the desktop. Uh, we, there's a save icon there. And then the next one we want to do to actually run it is this little play button there. Uh, we can also go up into the uh, the run to run it. But I want to hit play. Okay. And so now my focus goes down here into uh, now we're back into the shell over here. And we see it says uh, input a name. So let's input a name. Okay. I'll type rich. And it takes it that and says hello rich so there's my first program and then we just go into this cycle uh, of doing uh, of programming where we save it and then we run it and now it says all right uh, input a name I'll type Richard it'll say hello Richard now it also includes the goodbye in there so there's a basic program and notice what's going on up here. And this is a neat thing about the Anaconda is that in my variable explorer here, I have a name, it has a type, we'll learn about those. And the value in there is whatever I typed in. So I can actually see what my variables are that I'm working with. And that's one of the beauties of the uh, Anaconda uh, distribution. Uh, so. All right, now um, uh, suppose I want to run a program that already exists. Suppose this program, uh, you know, I, I don't have any program in here. I want to open a program so I can say open. Uh, in this case, I'm on the desktop. I can select hello.py. That opens a program and then I can and it's the same, same as we did before. Notice this time I typed uh, George in there. There's George typed in there. And so that's what my name is. It's now George. And I can see that going on here. So there's a little bit of a, a, a look at how the Anaconda uh, Python uh, is, is set up. Because this course started originally using idle, you will see the examples in the uh, subsequent uh, uh, videos using uh, idle. I don't think that will be a problem for you as we up to, you know, we'll eventually update all the videos to uh, include uh, Anaconda. We like Anaconda because it has this variable explorer window. It also has a debugger that, that we will uh, show you it has a number of other really advantages that we think will make life easier for you as a beginning programmer so with that let's uh, let's move on